Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video on the My CRM area of Sage CRM. When you first log into the system, you arrive at the My CRM area. Basically, this is the presentation of different elements of the data that have been assigned to you as a user, or that you have chosen to view. In this case, I am logged in as the system administrator, so I can see data specifically assigned to the administrator, or in the case of the dashboard screen we are now looking at, at the dashboards that have been given access to. The Calendar tab shows my calendar appointments and tasks. In the Calendar section I can click and look at the detail of the appointment. The hyperlinks in the Tasks section allows me to navigate directly to the associated record, i.e. the person or the company, or I can also go to the detail of the task by clicking the icon. Common to most Sage CRM screens are the filters and action buttons on the right side of the screen. In this case I can filter how I view my calendar and I can also schedule new activities. Notice that there is always an entity specific help button as well. If I've been given access I can also view a different user's calendar by using the find field and selecting from the returned records. The Contacts tab is a list of contacts that I have chosen either to show as a sort of favourite list or to synchronise with Outlook if that is configured on your system. I can add and remove contacts to this list from here or if I'm ever in a person record I have the option to add that person to my contacts list. The Leads, Opportunities and Cases tabs show me those records assigned to me as the user and notice that I can filter or perform actions using the buttons on the right hand side or by clicking on the stages in the pipeline graphic. Shared Documents is a document store for generic documents such as price lists and product brochures and as I am logged on as a system administrator I can add new documents but this can be limited to certain users so that the documents are up to date and managed correctly. The Preferences tab allows me to set certain user preferences that only affect my system. So for example if I want to go to my calendar when I next log in I click Change, then select Calendar from the Log Me Into drop-down, and then click Save. The Groups tab is where I can build, save, and view groups of dynamic or static data. By clicking on the group name, I can view the list and perform further actions. The My Twitter tab can display your Twitter feed and searches and you can view another C-Logic video on this functionality on YouTube. The final little three dot icon allows you to choose which tabs you want to display in My CRM. Simply deselect the ones you don't want and click save. Well that's My CRM covered. Remember to check the help files if you have any issues and thanks for watching this C-Logic production.